Hello everyone, I am Jagajit, Director of Embedded Engineering at Utunga. Today we are going to talk about one of our Ethernet API sensor reference design. So we are going to cover various aspects today. One is what is the architecture of the systems and how what is the use case of the systems and uh, what is the timeline or when it is available for our customers and as well as FCG members. So let's go in detail. <coughs> So Ethernet APL, uh, so this is uh, the, the specification and as well as the APL standard, I'm sure everyone aware about that, but still I would like to give a quick introduction about that. So Ethernet APL is one of the first Ethernet standard which is introduced into the process automation side, which is intrinsically safe. And being Utunga is one of the product engineering company, we will also offer end-to-end -end product engineering on Ethernet APL based design. So we can split that offering into various uh, stages. It could be your existing legacy device converting into Ethernet APL standards or the, the, the complete new design on Ethernet APL based design or the architecture of Ethernet APL framework. It's including from field devices, how many power switch you need or how exactly we are going to connect with the standard Ethernet, uh, uh, the communication standard. So we will go up a little bit detail about our sensor design so this is Utunga reference design which we have designed for Ethernet APL which is uh, compatible for power over data line and uh, this is again going to communicate with another Ethernet APL switch or any other uh, adapter which can be connected from uh, Ethernet APL to standard Ethernet which is running a, a hot IP or any other uh, communication module so the sensor features which, which, which if you go little more details uh, uh, there is a microcontroller which is capable of clocking up to 400 megahertz based on the use cases so this can put every RTOS or any other RTOS applications based on the use cases and the entire system is designed uh, in a low power architecture so there is a various shutdown features even though we have a multiple sensors there is an IO interface so we can shut down this to, to save the power. And this is compatible for IEEE 802.3 CG standard which is nothing but SP specifications. And coming uh, with an accelerometer which is having up to plus or minus 8G dynamically selectable range and 16 bit data output on that and high shock uh, uh, stability on that. So and this is temperature compatibility up to minus 40 to plus 125 degree in terms of the sensor architecture and uh, the object uh, sensor, object temperature sensor which is capable of uh, measuring the, uh, the temperature from minus 70 to plus 380 degree. So that's the specification of this device and uh, measurement resolution up to 0 0.02 degree Celsius. And this is designed uh, as per the intrinsic safety compatibility. So this can be deployed in zone zero as well. So uh, let's go how exactly the, the shape of the device and how we can do uh, fit into. So as, as you can see in this uh, figure, there is a typical gas sensor. So we are designed a circular shape. So we are just comparing with one euro. So this is size is uh, so close to a, a, a neuro size, uh, it's, it's a 30 mm diameter, uh, which include the Ethernet APL5 and the microcontroller and the power circuit with, with a two pin connector. So the idea is something like that with the, any typical gas sensor or typical actuator. So definitely there is a area where uh, all the connectors and everything is sitting inside. So we would like to do kind of a so retro engineering where we can put this as an adapter with your existing compatible heart or any other interfaces and convert into uh, Ethernet APL standards. So the necessary, uh, the firmware which can convert this data to Ethernet APL that can be programmed or we can do an architecture based on the device specific things. And again, this is a reference design. So this can be customized when this is evaluated from the different sensors or actuators, different form factor, we can customize it. So when you're talking about the firmware architecture, uh, so obviously this is 
we have done kind of a modular architecture uh, it is a hardware as we discussed various components uh, uh, as a reference this and we are using some sensors so it could be an io also in future and uh, so there is an hardware abstraction layer so typically it is divided into two aspects to have a simplicity an ethernet driver and sensor driver so ethernet driver is typically the the io interface io interfaces and all the driver related to the uh, 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 the phi perspective and on top of it hard ip is running so hard ip is again this is talking to the uh, tcp ip stack and on top of it we are running the sensor applications and again sensor we have sensor drivers which is acquiring all the data from the sensors and the sensor middleware is uh, packetizing all the sensor data and clubbing together with the hard ip information and sending to our ethernet apl so that's a typical architecture. As you can see, this is completely a modular architecture. So we can unplug uh, any kind of applications or any kind of Ethernet protocol in this device in future. So this is system interfaces. So how exactly this is validated? So there is an Ethernet APL host, which is having a standard Ethernet. And other side, we have a Ethernet APL uh, connection, which we have tested with a twisted pair cable. As you know, 10 base T1 L can go up to 1000 uh, uh, the meter. So we have tested this with uh, power over data line capability. And the sensor module is capable of getting the power from the data line itself. And uh, so uh, the, if you see the block diagram, there is a separate block for the power supply, which is supplying the power to the different components in that, including the microprocessor and the sensor device. And the microprocessor is capable of uh, controlling the power. Basically, you can shut down these sensors or any of the IOS features. If you want to use it, we can use IO features. And we have a built-in eScorpy ROM to, to store any of the data or any of the settings, which is specifically on the sensor configurations or any other settings of the device. So this is a Typical testing compatibility to ensure that this is compatible with the standard uh, Ethernet APL. We have taken one existing evaluation board from analog devices, which is connected to our the Ethernet APL reference design. From there, we have tested with a standard TCP IP stack with a test application on the PC side, so which we evaluate the various speeds, how exactly this is connecting, and on top of it, we ported the hard IP. So coming to the design roadmap, this is started somewhere in October, the, the complete design and, uh, and it is completed as a full-fledged stage, whatever you, you can see in this slide. Uh, uh, we completed by November and uh, now uh, we are in a stage of porting the hard IP and the testing phase and the hardware engineers are working on the pre-complaints and validation on the intrinsic safety side. And by January, this is available for our customer for evaluations. So anything on in details about this particular uh, hardware, if you are interested, please feel free to contact Philcom Group or otunga.com. Thank you.